Hello and welcome. In this video, let's understand how we can generate PDFs using C Sharp. So I have opened up my Visual Studio. First, let's create a console application. So I have created a very basic .NET Core console application. In order to get started and start creating PDFs, we need to install one NuGet package. So let's go to dependencies and click on manage NuGet packages. So let's go to browse and search for HTML renderer PDF Sharp. And from the search result, we need to pick this particular package, which says HTML renderer dot PDF sharp dot dot net standard two. And guys, this is an open source and absolutely free library that you can use in your application and start creating PDFs. So I will click on install. And my package is added here. One more thing I want to mention here using this package, you can generate PDF files without using any third party software or any other plugin. This whole solution can work just by using C sharp language. So my package is now added here. Now let's go to program.cs file. First of all, let's register an encoder that will help us to encode the data. So there is one encoding provider that is present in .NET framework, but that is not present in .NET Core. So we need to explicitly provide that encoding provider. Okay, so basically this library which we have added, this will basically work with the HTML board. So first you need to give some HTML and that HTML will be converted to a PDF file. So let me create a variable and I will set some HTML string here. Okay, so this is a very basic HTML. I have some H1 tags, paragraph tags, right? And I am using some CSS classes also to do some highlighting and decoration of my text. Right? So you can apply these styles within the HTML also. Once you have your HTML, now it's very easy. The second step is to just use the PDF generator and generate this as a PDF file. For that, I will be using PDF document class, I will say PDF document equal to PDF generator, right? And here we have the method generate PDF. This will basically take two parameter. One is the content. So I will provide my HTML content here. And second thing is the page size. So basically we have a lot of page sizes available here. A0, A1, A3, A4 can pick any page size from here. I will be going with the very basic one that is A4 size. So I will select that. Once this is done, we can just say PDF document dot save. Right. And within this, we need to pass a file name. Once that's done, we can say. After this, we can just run our program and see if our PDF is getting generated or not. I will run my application. Okay, my application has started. You can see I got hello world message and within few seconds, I also received PDF generated and saved to this particular location. Now, let's open our project in the file explorer. Here, go to bin folder, debug folder, .NET 8. And here you can see we have the PDF file. And if I open this file, you can notice here we have our PDF here. We have this heading, then the text and the text formatting is also applied. You can see here we have this yellow color highlight. OK, guys, so this is how you can generate your PDF files using the HTML document. And to work with images, what you can do, you can convert your images to an encoded string and you can pass that encoding string to the HTML itself. Let me show you how that can be done. Let's say I will add one image tag here. Right. So I have added this image tag and here I have one placeholder that is base 64 image. I will be putting the base 64 image data at this point. Right. So first of all, we need to add an image to our project. So I have let me do that. OK, so I have this file here. Right. This is a PNG file. So let's convert this image to base 64 format. To do this conversion, what I'm doing, I'm declaring a variable image path. I'm setting it to logo.png. And after that, I am using file.read all bytes and I'm passing the image path here and I'm getting the bytes from it. After that, I'm using convert dot to base 64 string method to convert this image to a base 64 format. 
Right, once that is done, what we can do, we can replace this base 64 variable with this particular data. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm replacing my this placeholder with the actual data. And one more thing we need to do, we need to right click on this logo.png, go to properties, and here it says do not copy. We need to say copy if newer. This will make sure we have this file when we are running this application in our bin folder. Right. With that, let's run our application again. Our application is running and you can see our PDF is also generated here. Let's open up the folder and open this file again. And this time you can see my file is also added in my HTML. That's it for this video guys. In this video, we have understood how we can generate PDFs using HTML.